I am going to install the Swiss all metal hot end on my Ender 3 Pro plus some extra upgrades. Stay tuned at Zachary 3D Prints. Hello, this is Zachary from Zachary 3D Prints, bringing you how to's, reviews, and other things that has to do with 3D printing. Um, like I mentioned in the intro and also in the teaser video, I'm going to install this all metal Swiss hot end for my Creality Ender 3 Pro. Why? Because the standard hot end that is on my Ender 3 Pro is not always that good. Maybe you won't see it now, but I will show you after I uh, deassembled de this part, I show you exactly what happened to my, uh, my hot end. Because last time, I will show you a link in the video, what I did, because all Ender 3 Pros have this little issue with the PTFA tube, that when the retraction comes, that um, the filament is going back, but also the tube has the possibility to go back. I don't say that every Ender 3 Pro or Ender 3 has this issue, but if you're having problems with your 3D printing, that filament is not running out that as it should be, then you have to make a hot end fix. That being said, I'm going to unbox this and I'm going to install it on my Ender 3 Pro. Putting that back, let's unbox this box. Well, I used a little force, don't do that. We have in the package, we have the cooling block. We got the heat sink. We have, of course, a, another nice, cool silicon sock for around the metal block. Of course, the most important thing, or else we cannot print the nozzle and also some tools to install it. And of course, in case you don't have it, a little wrench. Well, the little key, or I don't know how you call this thing in English, but if you see it, you know exactly what you, what I mean. By the way, I'm going to do a little bit more upgrades than on the, the old metal hot end. I'm also going to, because I'm just holding the screwdriver, I'm going to yeah, ta -da. the bullseye fan duct. Also, this little guy is going to watch over my 3D prints. I'm going to install this part for behind the screen. I'm going to install this part. I already attached this thing, but I'm not going to get rid of it. And also for the, the tools that I always have my tools in hand. And of course, the base for the fan. If you don't have any fans, then you can install it on there and then you have that. And also some... So, and last part, the V-slot covers. And I also have this little fella here. I did test it, but it, it seems to work, but then it's going to make a squeaky sound and we want to print silently sometimes. So, first thing, we're going to disassemble that part and then we're going to install the hot end from Micro Swiss. So, now we are going to turn on the printer 
and we are going to heat up the hot end. So in the time that it is heating up, we are going to unscrew that part. So as you can see, I've got here some filament from leaking. I'm not sure where it is, but I'm going to show you. Now I'm going to deassemble that part. So as you can see, he was getting very dirty and there was a lot of filament on top of it. So it's, uh, it's gone as you can see. So, but let's get moving to the new all metal hot end. So we are going to install the cooling block, it has two parts, Oop. up and down of course, so let's install this one. part so like this then the heat block so you got here Two holes, here nothing, and here screws. So we are going to put the heat block from there, we put in here. Here comes the sensor, and there the screw. And this is the top of it. We screw this part on there. There's a little, there's a little notch here, so you can just turn it a little bit, and then we are going to put the nozzle onto it. Just put the nozzle in there. And then we are going to take the little screw be careful you you have only two two attempts to do that Just put it in there, just a little turn that it will stay in there. So now the thing is, we are going to install different kind of fan. So we are going to take this one off. Just take the little
this is all going into the new fan case just turn to make it go easier So now we are going to put the heat block back into the in there and also this one goes in there. not too tight i did it the other time and it got a false reading little error so like this then also tighten those two screws so like that and then we are going to put it in there in there just not over tighten it so now we are going to put in the PTFE tube it's loose I'm going to tighten it again yeah and then you have those red things and just put it underneath it. So now it's not going anywhere. So when the hot end is hot, we are going to tighten all parts to make sure that we don't have any leakage. So now I will also have the um, silicon shoe on the hot end. Now that part is done. Now I'm going to install the other parts.
So, yeah, as you can see, when you are working with 3D printers, this can happen. So I'm going to clean it up right now. So that was it for today's video. I have installed the Micro Swiss All Metal Hot End on my M.3 Pro. And because of the occasion, I also installed the Bullseye fan duct and also the little bracket over here and some tools over there. I still have two things to install. I'm not going to do that for this video because I need to unscrew some parts to also put in the v-slot covers and also doing some other things that being said i still need to uh, level the bed but i read that that shouldn't be that big problem because both hot ends are the same height so when i'm going to bed level this one it doesn't have to be much of an issue so that was it for today's video. Please like this video, subscribe to my channel. A big, huge project is coming up on this channel. I'm not going to tell you anything about it. When you are subscribed to my channel, then you will see what kind of project that I have in mind. Everything has to do with 3D printing, but also something extras. Coming up on Zachary 3D Prints. Bye-bye.